treating myself to one. I deserve one today. Okay guys, it is 5.47. We're gonna head to the gym now. Hey guys, we have officially made it to the gym. It's about to be 6 a.m. Clock in time, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna do some upper body. We we are going to do some upper body and some core today. Last night, Spencer came to my house and he said his goodbyes because he is headed back to San Francisco this morning, actually. And um, it's always just like a really hard feeling and always like I feel really numb the next day. And it's just like there's so many... Um, different feelings and emotions that I all go through at once. It's sadness, but it's happy because I'm happy for him and excited. It's this feeling of like emptiness. It's really hard to explain, um, but I know if you're going through long distance, you understand what it's like. And it never gets easier. Like that's something that I talked about on my TikTok is like, no matter how many times we do this, and this is our routine, like we, you know, I knew he had to go back. Like, I'm, you know, it's just like that moment when, you know, like you have to go back to the reality of not getting the pleasure of coming over after work and him just driving five minutes to get to me t from his house. And, you know, he can come eat with me on my lunch breaks and um, I can drive to his house at night and have a sleepover with him. And then he comes home and I'm there. Like, it's... You know, it's all just so nice to do that. And it truly sucks and it's heart like wrenching when I have to say goodbye and I have to watch his car go. And then it's last night, I'm like, he's not coming back, girl. <laughs> like, he's leaving. And that's like really hard. Um, I'm not going to talk about it anymore because I will cry and I'm doing okay. This time saying our goodbyes was a little bit not so heavy on the heart because I already have a flight book to see him um, early February for our anniversary and Valentine's. So theoretically, I'll see him in about two and a half weeks, which is nice. And normally we never have a flight booked, you know? Um, so it's a lot harder because it's like, oh, I don't want him to see you next. So maybe that's why it was not as devastating but, like, he drove away yesterday and I stood there with the door open, like, if he was going to come back. <laughs> okay. Let's not right now. Let's not. Because, whew, that's okay. I'm, it's just still sad. It's really hard to, like, see the positive side of things. And the way to think positive for me right now is when I'm going to see him soon, so... But, like, there's a very likely chance that this is our last semester. We're at the final threshold of long distance. He can come home in May and, like, not have to move back up. Like, he'll stay here permanently. But it's just, like, oh, it's just... Anyways, I'm sitting here too long talking about feelings. now okay guys I don't know what the hell was in me this morning but normally I use 10 pound dumbbells okay and when I do core I use a five pound one well they were you they were being used okay so I'm like all oh, right so then I grabbed eight pounds and I'm like how am I supposed to get stronger if I'm using weight under than what I normally do okay I saw these 12.5 babies and I freaking used them. I did my workout with 12.5 weight on each arm. 
I'm so happy. I'm so proud of myself. In that moment, you, I literally recorded it. I was like, <gasps> I don't know if it's the, the sadness. It's probably this. I'm going to be honest with you. But thank you because now I feel strong. I feel like a bad bleep. And now we need to rush home, get ready for work. We're going to stay busy. We're going to focus on ourselves. We're going to keep getting better, stronger, healthier, smarter, hotter, all of the above. Okay? And hotter, not what it looks like out here. Because if you're rotting on the inside, what makes you think you're going to be glowing on the outside? Just remember that. <laughs> music and all of a sudden I start to think and the minute I start to think then I'm gonna cry so here's what we're gonna do we're going to not cry because I'm about to go into work and then people are gonna ask you what's wrong and then you're gonna be like saying it and then you say it and then you cry more so oh yes so gosh it's like it's on such a high this morning and now it's gone and now I just whoo see this is literally what happens